you know, and I'm going like, I'm like, really, Mother Nature, take your mood stabilizers. You know, take your mood stabilizers, and you can have really awesome weather. So I, I don't want to deal with this bipolar weather ever again because it's, it's boring. I'm ready for my warm weather and sunshine and 90-degree weather. So, um, so I'm hoping it's here spring and summer because I'm like, I'm over his weather already. Wow, my uh, my phone scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so sorry about that, everybody. I mean, my phone kind of, you know, I thought, God, I must be Mister Popular or something, huh? Oh no, it was for some reason I don't know what that was. So sorry about that, everybody. My phone kind of went crazy on me. Um. Well, yeah. Um. Other than that, really, that's about it, you know, with me. Um, so, yeah. You know, what else was I going to say? So, like I said, I'm going to be having Faith Michaels call in about 13 minutes. I think, yeah, 13 minutes. So, you know, I'm gonna, I, can't, I, I, I can't stress as much. I, I can't wait to talk to her because... I'm the I'm the scene as I I wonder how her how she, how her, how she does all this like how she, how she you know does music and then does her talk show her radio show and and does her um her drag performances and and how she does um everything else and I'm I'm so curious about how so many people that you know juggle everything in their in in their life. I mean, to me, I couldn't juggle all that. I think I, I think I'll go you know crazy in a way. So, but but that's I maybe mean, that's how they that's how they do like a like a coping mechanism. I don't know. So I have a clue. So um, other than that, really, that's about it. But um. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> oh, I'm having an issue here. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna chill. You know, um, my, I'm actually might go see a movie tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna go see tomorrow, but I might go see a movie. So it's gonna be one of those um days. You know, it's one of the, you know. Not do I'm heck I might need to do yard work tomorrow. I don't know. You know, that's kinda of scary I might do yard work. <laughs> so, um so yeah. So, um yeah, I just can't you know if if you're in the um the Florida or Key West area if you want to check out Faith Michaels, she she is um, the talented cast at Aqua's Nightclub, popular drag show. So you know, I don't know. I'm not sure if she does it like like every every day of the week, or just does on the weekends, or what. But she is um, she um, does her performances at the Aqua uh, Nightclub in Key West, Florida. So I might have to, I might have to go down to Key West and actually check out her show. With, you know, if if I if I go on vacation or whatever. So. You know, I, I've been to Florida, but that was like many years ago, so I don't know. It probably changed a lot since then. So, um, and you know, and Faith Faith Michael's been doing female impersonation for 17 years, so that's like um, half of what I've been alive. So it's not even half. So it's kind of like you know, maybe like I don't know, half ways, maybe. So it's probably doing it probably since the late. Late nineties, probably. So yeah, <laughs> or, or middle nineties. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just really intrigued to you know what her style of drag is. So um, I know there's all different kinds of styles of drag, but I'm just curious to know what her style is and what, you know, how she got started. How she got started doing drag was it like, did she come across it by accident, or did, or did she know that she always wanted to do drag, 
and stuff like that. I mean, tell you the truth, you know, I mean, I've been to numerous um, drag shows over the years through, since I've been since since I came out in I don't know nine ninety nine. I'm now that I'll tell you my age. So you know, I mean, I've been to so many. I kind of lost count. So um, I I would have to say uh, my first drag show was when I was still living in Pennsylvania. And my two good friends, um, Dwayne and Dwayne, not Dwayne, but Dave, Dave and John, Dave and John, I can't, I can't remember. Now I'm having a, um, a memory issue. Um, they took me to my first, um, kind of like, kind of like drag show in a way. Um, so yeah, I think that was, I think that was my first drag show, I think. I, I can't really remember. So, um... I think I my, like I said my first drag show was in Pennsylvania and I want to say it was in the the Pegasus in Pittsburgh. So I don't know if that bar is still around or not. From what I heard, it closed. I I don't know. That was one of my favorite um, gay bars in Pennsylvania because the town that I grew up in there was like mm-hmm. not even a gay bar whatsoever. Uh, it's it's like you know if there was it they're very hard to find. So. I don't know. I don't know, you know, what this this spiel was about the town that I grew up in. You know, I don't know. Like, you know, I mean, the little town that I grew up in. I mean, there was, to tell you the truth, I, I could never find a gay bar when I was living there. I mean, I, I lived there my, almost my whole life until I moved here about 18, 18 years ago, I think. Maybe was, I can't remember. So it was, it was like almost, almost two decades. Almost two decades. So, um... So yeah, since I've been here in Columbus, Ohio, I'm, I mean, I mean, heck, there's like you know, there's like um, gay bars everywhere. It's like they're like popping up like you know, like tents. You know, um, I don't go to that many bars, but I mean, I just go to one. So it's like that's that's when I feel most comfortable. I don't feel like going to ones that are like they're really sketchy. You know, you know, they got really poor lighting. I don't, I don't go into ones that have really poor lighting inside. I'm like, oh. I'm like, no. So, um, I, I, I have to admit, you know, I did go to one where it was really ske- kind of sketchy. You know, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what possessed me to go there, but I ended up going there one time. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of really sketchy. You know, and I'm like, mm. it wasn't in, in the really greatest neighborhood. So, I don't think I'm going to go back to that one again because it's like, well, you know, I'm not going to, you know, you know, go to go to a bar and, you know, when you're walking out, you know, uh, no, if there's like no lighting, I'm, no three bob, you know, that's that's my own pre- personal preference, you know, I like to go go to ones where I know the the surroundings, you know, if I case I if I need to make a mad dash somewhere safe and stuff like that, you know, I can, you know. But a lot of these places, I'm like, you, you don't get that get that luxury, you know. Or you, um, or you go to, like, a um, bar where it's, like, so sketchy, you know, it's not even, like, uh, nonchalant about, you know, trying to use the washrooms. Because you know you never know what unsavory characters go into the washrooms. Just saying. So um, you know, uh, I'm like, uh, uh-uh, no way, no three. So um, I've, yeah, that's really about it for me. So um. So I'm going to be having Faith Michaels calling in about six minutes. Uh, you know, I can't wait to talk to her so it's all gone. I'm with Faith Michaels.
Yeah. So, um, that's going to be an interesting um, uh, interview because it's like I've got, I've got all these questions. So, other than that, that's about it. Like I said, um, but the only thing is there's not going to be a new diversity LGBTQI radio show next Sunday. It's, it's going to be like a, um, a best of of this of I guess like everybody on D the TM radio. Um, I know um, my good friends um, Tiff and Den. They're going to like a, uh, they're going to like a convention. Convention, I do believe. I'm like, you know, hey, I'm like, I'm gonna go to it too, but I'm with the money right now, so maybe I might go to a convention. I don't, I'm like to a convention this year. I don't know, but I'm gonna, you know, um, I don't know. I might go to one maybe. Um, but all depends. <laughs> There's one I really want to go to, but I really don't have the money for it. It's, it's one of the most freaking expensive ones ever. I'm like, I'm like, wow, I'm not going to spend that kind of money in October for a convention. So I'm not going to spend, you know, the money to go to Scarefest because that's just too much money. So I'd rather do one like here in Ohio, you know, and you know, go from there. I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't go like all over the United States or to go to these conventions. I'm like, I don't. I'm not these type of people who have like all this, you know, money lying around. If I did, honey, I'm like, you know, I wouldn't be working, you know. I I I'll probably be retired, you know, like you know, writing my books and stuff like that, you know, but I'm like, hey, I gotta I gotta work, you know, I gotta I gotta pay my bills, you know. So So other than that, that's really about it. I mean, you know I'm just waiting for for uh, Bates Michaels to call in, and I, you know, because you know, I've probably been talking a lot about her lately, because it's like, you know, she, I, she is awesome. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, it's one of those uh, it's weather. I tell you, I think it's gonna rain. Oh, I said I heard something. Oh. Um. So yeah, I just can't wait to see what's all going off with Faith Michaels tonight. So maybe you know she can get um, give me some insight on her music and what kind of style of music she writes. Is it like kind of like you know um, disco tech, not like disco tech, but like pop pop music or dance music or just like really upbeat kind of music? So I don't know. That's gonna be a really good question to ask. So, you know, I can't wait to ask to what, what kind of music, or what kind of musical instrument she was writing her music. So, um, so yeah, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, other than that, really, that's really bad of me. You know, um, that's all I gotta say, really, and. You know, and and you know, she also did like um, Chris Michael did a song called "Go Home" and followed by "Kiss" in her latest. Um, her latest was um, "Work That Body." Um, from what I don't know if it's all on iTunes or what. Cause I was not find that much on um, on YouTube, but I don't know. That's uh, Chris Michael did not that. She still she has like any first CDs like um like pressed where you can buy buy them in the stores. So um so yeah, I can't wait to ask her that. Um go from there actually. Um so yeah, so I'm just gonna go from there really. Um So yeah, I'm just just um no. So yeah, I'm just waiting just for Faith to call in. Um, if anybody uh, wants to call in, ask Faith Michael's question. Call in seven one three nine five five oh oh three eight four. 